Okay, so this is a video about wet wrapping for eczema. This is Titus. He used to have severe eczema. It's pretty good right now, but we're doing this wet wrap just for demonstration purposes. So he just got out of the bathtub, uh, a bath where he soaked just in water for 20 minutes. And then within three minutes of getting out, we have to cover him with either lotion and sometimes we spot treat um, red spots with steroid cream. The moisturizer we prefer is Vanna cream, uh, but it depends on your what your doctor recommends for moisturizer and steroid cream. So once he's out of the bathtub, you just pat dry because rubbing can irritate the eczema. And again, within three minutes, he should be covered with with creams to hold that moisture in that you just got in the bathtub. And when you're spot treating with steroids, you want to make sure you don't overlap the steroid with lotion because that will dilute the medi medication. Alright, so now that he has some lotion on, I have a bowl of hot water with different wraps that we're going to put on him, so I am wringing those out. It works best to have two people when you do this, so I'm ringing those out, giving them to my wife, who's going to put them on him. They've been soaking in warm water. And one thing you want to be careful of with your lotion, if you use Vanna cream, it comes in a tub, and you can either get one with a pump on it, or one without a pump. Either way, you just want to be sure you're not dipping your hand into the tub of moisturizer because you could be taking bacteria from the skin into that tub where it could multiply. So you can either use a pump dispenser or you can use a spoon to help get it out. Um, we use disposable plastic spoons and use a new spoon each time you get moisturizer out. The other thing you want to be sure is your wraps are as much cotton as possible. So we use tube socks for the arms and legs. Usually we find those at Walmart and it's really hard to find a hundred percent cotton but just like 80 or 90 percent is good. And we get adult tube socks for the arms and legs. And then what we're putting on now, this is a cotton pajama. So now we're gonna moisturize his legs and then we'll do tube socks once again and then finish putting that cotton pajama over the socks. Um, another thing you want to be careful of, make sure that there's no infection on the skin before you do a wet wrap because the moist warm environment can actually cause the infection to spread and multiply faster. So if the eczema is pretty severe, we would do these wraps up to three times a day, um, only putting steroids on in the morning and in the evening. And then as it gets better, we do less. So right now he's doing quite well, so we really don't do any, any wet wraps unless he flares up. The other thing, Titus is pretty used to these wraps because he's had them done a lot. So he's pretty good natured about it, but the first time you try it on your child, a lot of times they get pretty upset. So it can be difficult. It's good to have more than one person helping when you do this. And another thing that's helpful is have all your your pajamas and your socks soaking ahead of time, all your moisturizer out and ready to go. It's a, it's a lot happening and it has to be quick to keep all the moisture in on the skin. So now we're going to put on a fleece pajama over the wet pajamas and this is to keep him warm and also to keep his bedding dry. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is the head and face wrap. So this is a Curlix bandage. It's kind of a, a gauze type material for wounds. And we order it in bulk online to get a good price. 
and we'll have links in the description for all the supplies that you need for this. So she starts out going around the forehead just to anchor it in place a couple times and then up down and around the chin and then you can also go down and around the back of the neck and you really just want to cover the whole head and then you want to be careful but if if it's in the daytime you can do what they call the butterfly across the top of the nose and across the lip just to make sure you get his face covered and just to keep his whole head moisturized. Um, you don't really want to do that at night because it could cause Mama. breathing trouble. Uh, Mama. Huh. Yeah. This is another option for the head wrap without going across the lip and the nose for nighttime. And then this here is um, some medical tubing and we just tie a knot on one end and then we put this over his head just to hold all that that Curlix bandage in place. So we tie a knot, tighten it, and then Maria will show you how that goes on. So then you just rip a hole in the front part of it for his face and it holds everything in place. The other thing you can use is uh, like a stocking cap or a ski hat to hold all that in place. We've done that before also. So now he's all ready to go to bed or he could play for a couple hours in these wet wraps. Either way is fine. Um, we often let him sleep overnight in the wet wraps and it's really comforting when they have eczema pretty badly. So you just want to be sure you have a fleece blanket on the bed just to keep the mattress dry and then put a blanket over the child also to keep them warm and make sure you have a heater going. We have a, a heater in his room going constantly just to make sure he doesn't get cold. Alright, you ready for bed? Okay, let's go. So there's the fleece blanket protecting the mattress. Do you like do you like the wet wrap Titus? Do they help you feel good? Yes. Do they help your alleys? Yes. Good. Say thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. All right. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, just comment, and we'll try to answer the best we can.